Hi, Hi guys! <laughs> so we, uh, everybody wanted to come in and, and help me with the intro today. So, hi! Is that? Hi! And, and Chloe is here too. This is our little fluffball. <laughs> <laughs> so today, um, wow, it has been a minute. Um, I have been, yeah, if you wanna, you can, you can take her out. Okay, so she went to go watch my neighbor Totoro and I have two unboxings for you guys. Um, I'm gonna post one today and one possibly as early as tomorrow, we'll see. Um, but very soon, if not tomorrow, then Tuesday at the very least. I cannot go live yet on YouTube and I wanted to go live for you guys and just do one mega unboxing of both of these boxes. I have been wanting to open these so bad for y'all, but I have been sick since Christmas Eve um, and it's not been happy. <laughs> So, uh, I got tested. It's not COVID or anything, but like, I just, I still have a little bit in my chest here. I'm still a little coughing. And if you hear scratches, it's, um, my wreaths on the window because it's not epiphany yet. And we still have Christmas stuff up. Just saying. Anyway. Um, so I have my tournament of champion, tournament champion, triwizard tournament shirt on from my last wizarding box. Um, Wizarding Trunk, oh, I have been so excited for these boxes. You guys, I have been avoiding YouTube like crazy so I don't see any spoilers. And I'm just, mm, I'm just so excited to open these. I can't, I cannot even wait. So this one is the High Security Vault. I believe this was actually the holiday box. I think I have to look. So even though it's after the holidays, happy after holidays, um, as per usual. Wizarding Trunk is amazing. This is their quarterly subscription box. Um, the other one that I'll be doing um, either this week or next week is their bi-monthly subscription box. So this one is the High Security Vault. I cannot get the... I don't know why. I think they've changed the adhesive on their stickers. I cannot get these off to save my life, but I did take my address off. So anyways, fragile and magical delivery. I always have to say that correctly. And then here we have follow us at the wizarding trunk. I highly recommend you do. They also have a store online. So if you see items, they may or may not have them in stock online. All right, let us open the box. I will give you a little bit of a sneak peek. Here you go. And that's all you get. My turn. <gasps> Oh my gosh, there's so much right off the bat. I can't even tell you. Ah! Um, I see a couple of what I'm assuming are Miss Weasley themed items. So here we have this adorable crocheted sweater. Like this is like truly handmade. And it's soft, you guys. Like it's, I expected it to be a bit more scratchy than that, but like it's not, it's not scratchy. Um, it's, it's nice. It's got a little hairy sweater. I got an H on it for Harry. So there is our little hen knit blue hairy sweater. That is super cute. I'm totally gonna put this on my, I'm slowly but surely collecting ornaments for a Harry Potter Christmas tree. Fingers crossed, maybe next year that will happen. Just like a little mini tree for my filming space slash office space. Um, as you can see, I have, I'm transitioning in here. So I have some really seriously messy shelves behind me. I did not get to put up my Harry Potter village this year and I'm really bummed about that because I, it just didn't, I got sick, it didn't happen, things were going on. Um, but what I decided that I was going to do is I'm going to put it up pretty much on my bookshelf behind me for year round because it's Harry Potter and who cares if it's a Christmas village, it's Harry Potter and I want it up. So I'm going to put up some different pieces in the background, I'm still kind of figuring out everything, I just got this bookshelf. Um, this is all kind of a new setup. So I have things to um, accommodate. You might see my filming space kind of change a little bit. Anyways, back to the box. Harry Potter sweater, that is so cute. So I'm hoping that this could be on my tree next year. That is, I love it. That's really, really adorable. Um, okay, so I'm going for the other item that I was like, that looks like a Miss Weasley themed item. It's a stocking. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. Oh good, and it does have a little hanger. Look, it's a Ron stocking. It's got an R for Ron. That is so cute, and I love, this is kind of like what I think of, when I think of stockings, I think more of like the, I guess they're kind of an old fashioned stocking, um, where they're just like the long, thin ones. Um, and it is, this one's soft too. It's not as scritchy as I would think it would be. And I adore this. This will be part of my my Christmas decor when I decorate. I love that. Also, for those of you who didn't know, my maiden name happens to start with an R. So it actually fits quite well. I, I love this. Okay, two Mrs. Weasley themed items. And there are lots of boxes in here too. Um, but I see something that you all probably saw, which is this. Oh, and it's a thick shirt. Oh my gosh, is this like a sweatshirt? <gasps> you guys, look. Okay, so another Weasley themed item, but y'all, oh, okay, let me get this because it was kind of, it's a Fred shirt. Look, I got Fred. Now, I think they did t-shirts like this in the past for um, some of the characters, and it looks like maybe they're branching out, but this is like, a nice cozy this is a sweatshirt and it's soft inside and I bet that it's nice and warm oh look at that I love it I love it so much check check it out here's it up close you can see it's got that like knit pattern um, even though it is screen printed I'm assuming that's what that is a screen printed or vinyl however they do it but I love it that is awesome and it looks like it's nice and big and cozy and I'm totally going to be wearing this. Uh, I wonder if they did a George one guys. Did they do a George one? For those of you who have seen other videos already because like I said this was this was like last month's <laughs> box. I might have actually gotten this one in November. Um, I'm really I'm really behind y'all. I love that. Oh I love it so much. Okay I need to have a little. See I was ready to do my lives. I had my my protein shake and everything ready to go okay let's do a box let's do a box um oh I don't know what box to do let's do this box you know that is three um Mrs. Weasley I love Molly I love the Weasleys I love the burrow I love like just how close their family is and everything we have a nice long box here um so I kind of love that they put all of these like cozy Christmassy things from Mrs. Weasley in here I think that's really awesome. What is this? Oh, it's a potion. It's a potion, guys. You know, I love their potions. Also, I'm gonna be moving my potion shelf in here, I think. So you finally get to see it. <laughs> um, okay, so well sealed. And wow, that's really pretty. It's kind of this like burgundy brown color. It's more red, but it is a swirly one. Check it out and I'll show you what it is here in a second. Look at the swirls. I love it when they have this like mica based potions. They're so pretty. They're so, so pretty. Okay, so here's what it is. I haven't even read it yet. I'll let you guys see the, the bottle. That is, oh. Krampus off. Keep the Krampus away this holiday. Pure blood apothecary. Krampus off guys, really? That is, um, that is creative because I don't think they've ever mentioned Krampus in, um, the Harry Potter <laughs> worlds, but like Krampus off, that's, that's kind of great. My husband's actually probably going to get a kick out of this. Um, and he's, uh, not as into Harry Potter as I am for sure, but he might find this really funny. So I am, I am German. I am like third generation German. Um, I may or may not have mentioned that at some point. <laughs> Grampus is kind of a European German thing. Um, I think that's hilarious and appropriate for the season. So Krampus off, y'all, Krampus off. I, I kind of love that. Uh, I'm curious what they say the explanation of being in this box is. Because <laughs> like I said, I've never, but it would, it would fit, right? I mean, Krampus is, for those of you who don't know, so Krampus is, um, 
okay, there's a lot of like lore around Krampus, but he basically, if you're naughty, it was kind of like the German's version of Baba Yaga for Russia. Um, if, if you were a naughty kiddo, Krampus would come and take you away or beat you and like it's not a pretty <laughs> it's not a pretty like lore kind of a thing like you don't want Krampus to come to your house ever it's not like getting coal in your stockings it's bad it's it's bad and so yeah Krampus off is perfect because we don't we don't want Krampus here but, you know I'm I'm a half a puff I got good intentions okay for some reason the top of this did not want to come out of the box but it came like this. Um, I still haven't looked to see what it is. So, oh, yo. Is this an actual ornament? Oh my gosh, it is. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, now I'm getting all the Christmassy vibes. I wish that it was, I wish it was still Christmas. Oh, oh wow, and look, they like, how did they do that? They like put the, Wow. You know, I'm impressed on how they got this positioned to stay. Okay, I should probably share. So check out this ornament. Do you guys recognize this? So it's like the moon and little um, bobble that Christmas bobble that Flitwick is putting up on the tree in um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's or Sorcerer's Stone, depending on you know, but the movie, so Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, um, up on the Christmas tree, and that is amazing. I need like 50 more of these. Are these still on the website, or were they ever? Because if so, I need like, I need like at least five more. At least five more. Anybody? <laughs> Anybody know? <laughs> and it's heavy. This is like a heavy duty bobble. Like it is. It is nice and it's so pretty. Oh, and it's one of my favorite Christmas scenes in that movie, like Christmassy. Oh, so my husband's like, Harry Potter is not a Christmas movie. All right, y'all, is Harry Potter Christmas for you? Tell me in the comments below because for me, it is entirely Christmas. Um, they were released at Christmas, the movies. Um, I mean, there's just so many reasons why I consider Harry Potter Christmassy, and I think the Christmas theme, the Christmas scenes in the movies are my favorite scenes. Seeing Hogsmeade all like with snow and everything makes me super happy, and I just, I don't know, the stories make me kind of, they make me so happy that I just, I don't, I don't know, I, I consider it a Christmas thing. It's also a fun Halloween thing, I guess, but like, it's a Christmas thing, whatever. All right, we have two more boxes and a bunch of stuff at the bottom. Ooh, I saw, I saw a pin. Let's do the pin. Um, okay, it's a two clasp pin, and I, I have not, I did not look. Anyway, um, this is a really fun box. I wish I would have opened this before Christmas and was able to do a video for you guys. I'm so sorry that I didn't. Their pins have been, they're, they're kind of converting me to a pin person. You know, I haven't been a pin person. So here is your pin. Look at the detail in this. Like I can kind of see it on the screen a little bit. And I cannot wait to actually look at it. Even if it's a Yule Ball pin. That is so cool. It is this beautiful, like just beautiful blues. Oh, that is gorgeous. This is like the, you know, the Yule Ball theme castle. This is kind of what I always assume. I don't know why. I see this and I know it's a Yule Ball thing for Hogwarts, but I see this like castle -y thing and I always thought that they did this design because maybe um, Durmstrang kind of looks a little like this. <laughs> I don't know. I have always like, this is kind of how I picture that. And, and it's probably way wrong, but I don't know. That's how I've always sort of pictured it. Um, that's a nice pen. I like the pen. I like the pen. You heard me say it. Okay, there's another little... It's a coin, you guys. I don't know. Have I gotten... Yeah, I suppose I've gotten a couple of coins. But look, they put it in a coin protector this time. Which is really cool. For those of you who... Um, like, I don't know if any of you guys collect coins. I collect coins, somewhat. 
I lightly collect coins. I casually collect coins. Um, anyways, I should probably stop clicking on it and look at it. So this is a, oh my gosh, you guys, this is so clever. Okay, I'm gonna have you look at it. This is like, this might be my favorite item in the box. I swear, this is amazing. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I also happen to go to high school in England. This is like a mock 50 pence piece, which, um, you know, obviously it's worth, or at least when I was there, it would be worth more than 50 cents here, but um, it's a 50 pence piece. And but this is like a Harry Potter themed one. It says 1980 to 1998, so from Harry's birth to, which I love because we have the same birth year. <laughs> um, to 98, which is the Battle of Hogwarts, but also my high school graduation year. <laughs> so, like, this is kind of... The dates are pretty cool for me, too. Um, and then it has a restricted section on the side with, like, a book and columns and stuff, which is so neat. And then on the other side, that is so clever. So the reason I love this so much is because an actual... I wish I had one. Um on me right now. I don't. I don't have one on me right now. But the reason this is so clever is because this is like a mock Britannia who is on the actual 50 pence piece. I'm seriously trying to get this to not reflect. Here, you know what? Am I able to take it out of this case? This is not like a normal coin case. I mean, it is a normal coin case, but I don't know if I can get it out. <clears throat> I don't know if I want to try to get it out. I mean, obviously it's in this for a reason. Uh, mine was like sealed shut. Okay, I'm not going to try to get it out, but I am going to get it to focus for you. So on the back of an actual 50 pence piece, there we go, um, is Britannia. And she has a shield just like this and a bird and all that. But here they put in an owl. <laughs> The shield has the Hogwarts, looks like the Hogwarts um, crest on it, and then the cat. Okay, for real, it's just gonna focus up here and then not come back. There we go. Hi. So this is like such a clever um, take on a 50 pence piece. I just, I love it so much. The, the crest, the cat, the owl, like this is, and then the dates. And, and of course this is a nod to Harry's present from his um, aunt and uncle, which all he got was a 50 pence piece for Christmas. Um, that That's amazing. That is amazing. I That has gotta be one of my top favorites in this box so far. Okay, we have a bunch of paper stuff. One of these is the cheat sheet, so I'm gonna very carefully go through this and, and not look at the cheat sheet. So the first thing I see is a piece of art. It looks like Hogsmeade. Oh, and there's a little black cat in the alley, and it's snowing. Oh, I love this. I actually have a Hogsmeade print that's coming that I'm putting up on my wall from an artist. Um, and this would be really pretty next to it. That, look how, and it's snowing. That's so beautiful. I love Hogsmeade. It is like one of my favorite little things and this is cool because you can actually see like hogwarts castle in the background so it kind of gives you that nod to it's hogmead and hogwarts is nearby um that is really that is really cool i love that the prints are amazing um here's another one a yule ball after party at 12 30 a.m in the northwest tower common room no teachers drink surf bring your own room <laughs> It's a poster for an after party from the old ball. Oh my goodness, what? It's like a little flyer that, that somebody made to like post around Hogwarts. I never really thought about that. Like, you know how you have prom and there's often after parties and stuff? I mean, it's been years, but I'm sure that's still a thing, right? I never would have thought about it for Yule Ball, but it makes kind of perfect sense. It's kind of like their prom almost. Um, that is really clever. Very cute. Okay, that's the cheat sheet. Not looking at that. Putting that down back in the box. Okay, and then the last thing, paper-wise, we got another enchanter, guys. Look, 
Enchanter. I love these. So Danny at Wizardry Workshop does these and um, I don't know if he collaborates with people to do writing and stuff. He might uh, or he might do it all himself. I have no idea how these get made but they are amazing and this one has oh my gosh that's a little scary. Um, their version of Krampus that they used I think it's the same one that was on the Krampus off bottle pretty much. Yeah this is not the best depiction of Krampus but it's like it embodies how scary the story and fable of Krampus is to me. Um, I just don't, I don't, I don't like Krampus at all. So they have the movie Krampus, which is kind of a clever, funny, dark, very dark, but like, and it is kind of scary, but like, you know, I don't know, it's, what, it's one of those movies that's like scary in a funny way because it's kind of cheesy, but like, I, it's just one of those things. It's a movie that my husband and I tend to watch around Christmas time. So it's a thing, but like, it's not my favorite um, thing. Look at his eyes. They did the foiling, green foiling on his eyes. That's insane. Ugh, Krampus. Ugh. This is why you're good every year. Just be good people. Just, it's not worth like, no, just be good. Just be good for being good's sake and you'll be fine. Oh my gosh. So protect yourself from the Yule cat. Oh, I'd like to see what that is. And I love that they have the issue number up here. Mistletoe, key to the underworld, complete guide to Christmas toe. Christmas toe, Christmas tide. There's an eye in there. I was like, what? Krampus on campus. Oh, so that's how they tied it in. Introducing Bailiwick's magical sweets. Look, they did a sweet shop, guys. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, I love it so much. It's like their take on Honeydukes. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, so uh, these are hard to show off, but it is a full on magazine. This is why I say like, they're so amazing. Like all the work that goes into this, I mean, it's a full on publication. It has actual articles you can read. There's Krampus on campus. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to read through this. I read through all of them because they're just so much fun. I have a few of these now and I need to get like a little book with protector sleeves to like start collecting these in because they are amazing. And then the back always has like these little add some more magic to your life. Get 38% off today when you subscribe to the Ch Enchanter. So it's like a little subscription thing, which is awesome. They usually have horoscopes. I love the classifieds in the back. Oh yeah, here's a horoscope, okay. Horoscope, I am a Virgo, let's find it. Virgo, your energy is finally returning. You have a lot to give, but you can also be sure that you will get a lot in return. Oh, I like that. My energy is finally returning <laughs> after being sick for so long. And uh, oh my goodness, they did a cut and hang Kramp Krampus ornaments in here. So they have ornaments <laughs> of Krampus. Uh, those are staying nicely into this publication. Thank you very much. But oh my lord, look. So they even have pictures of him taking like the children away in chains. The bad kids. I'm telling you. Guys, be good. Be good. Protect yourself from the Yule cat. Huh. I have to read all of this. This is going to be so much fun. Also, I wonder if the Yule cat thing um, ties in at all to all the cats on all the stuff like there's a cat on the Hogsmeade thing and that's a new one for me okay we have two more boxes and then I'll dig the cheat sheet back out so do we have two or just one did I open this one yet is this one I opened yet I don't think so this is another long box <gasps> y'all it's a Christmas cracker I don't think it's a real one though Hi, you wanna go say hi again? Mm -hmm. All of the goodies in your Christmas cracker have been magically removed from the inside and placed in your quarterly subscription box. If you do not want to display your cracker, you can still pop it by pulling each end. The cracker is filled with red confetti paper. Okay, so for those of you, Ooh, yay. <laughs> Maya is very familiar with Christmas crackers because we do them every year. Um, this is a Christmas cracker. For those of you who don't know, this is nice. Like it's it's a solid one. Like it's made from really nice um, cardboard yeah. style paper. 
Can I crack uh, it? No, we're not cracking. This is a display. There's nothing inside but like red paper. Ooh. So this is just a display. It's not going to be cracked open. Ew. <laughs> she loves cracking them open. That's like her favorite thing. So it's this beautiful like Harry Potter, like Christmas cracker. I love it so much. That is so cool. Um, it's a very, I don't know if they do it in other places. She found the Krampus off. I don't know if they do it in other places other than in Britain. Um, if, if other places in Europe do Christmas crackers, but this was definitely something that we picked up when, like my family picked up when we lived in England. Um, my husband also went to high school with me in England, so he was aware of all of these traditions too. And so we started doing them with our family. It's so weird. Okay, so my thing stopped. I'm not really sure where. But anyway, my point being, this is gonna go under my little tree when I get it going. I love this so much. Um, this is a tradition that my family has picked up from when we lived in England. And I was saying that it usually comes with a little prize, a joke, and then um, like on a little piece of paper and like a paper crown that you'd wear. And this is something just, it's so much fun. It's kind of nostalgic for me. So I love that they did these. Um, all right, last box. You love your flock? There is this flock of tiny itty bitty little fluffy birds outside. House sparrows, I think. Are they house sparrows? They might be. They probably are. We did a bird study for, for homeschool last year and she just loves birds. We have bird feeders and stuff up in a lot of places. Are you playing with your time turner? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Go get the, the doggy and shut the door, please. <laughs> Thank you, love. So she's off to watch a movie again. Anyways, last box. Haven't opened it yet. Um, uh, it's a lot of start stop when when your kiddo is like, I, I need to be in the video. She normally hasn't wanted to be lately, and so but she wanted to be today. <gasps> Y'all, it's a snow globe. What? <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Look. Watch for it. Watch for it. What is it? It's the Weasley's Ford Anglia with a Christmas tree on top. What? Y'all. That is the coolest thing. And especially with as like obsessed as uh, Mr. Weasley is with muggle stuff, it never occurred to me that maybe he'd be like, let's go get a Christmas tree. But I think it's also funny because it's like pre-decorated. So it's kind of like they don't understand that when they get the Christmas tree, they're not supposed to decorate it first, then put it on their car and take it home. They're supposed to take it home and then decorate it. <laughs> Which is even funnier to me. Like the little details of this stuff is amazing because you know they don't entirely understand all of our things quite correctly right that is precious i love this okay so that is everything in the box let me go over some favorites and um i don't have a single not favorite this was a super strong box but i'm gonna say my top oh gosh my very top favorite items would be, and it's hard because some of them I put back in the box. What was this? Oh, the ornament, um, the snow globe for sure. The Christmas cracker, I can't not pick everything. Okay, the stocking is a strong one for me. The coin obviously is on my top of my list and I'm sorry, but Krampus off, that's like awesome. <laughs> The German in me can't help but absolutely adore that. So those are my, I think, top favorites. Um, let's get onto the cheat sheet and see what it says because I am, I am dying to know. I'm so, I'm so happy with this box. This was such an amazing, this has got to be one of my favorite boxes so far. Probably because I just love the holidays and, um, you know. Okay, let me dig out the, the cheat sheet again because I kind of threw it back in here. <clears throat> all right cheat cheat here we go oh how pretty it's presented by the wizarding trunk you are invited to attend the yule ball so here we go 
cheat sheet. If at any point you want to pause and read, please feel free. Otherwise, I am just going to read through the whole thing. Okay, here we go. FNG Christmas jumpers. Oh, they did do a George one. That's cool. You will receive one of two different initials on your Christmas jumpers. The Enchanter Christmas Edition. This fully readable magazine was written by a talented team of witches and wizards and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Yule Ball Sculpture Pin. This pin was designed for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. Christmas Present Coin. This exclusive replica of a 50 pence coin was all you received from your aunt and uncle this year, designed by Luke Barker at Here Be Monsters 28. Mini Christmas Jumpers. A great addition to your tree, they are also double as bottle cozies, created for us by Self Knitting Needles. <laughs> That's cool, so that you can also use it as a bottle cozy. Um, and it looks like they did two. They did a Ron and a Harry one. That's awesome. Ford Anglia Snow Globe. This item was designed in-house, perfect for the holiday season. Y'all, that was like super, super creative. Levitating Ornament. This is a replica of the floating ornament seen in the Great Hall. Whip out your wand and see just how high you can place it on your tree. Or simply use a ladder and your hand if you aren't confident in your wand work. Yeah, I wouldn't want to ruin the whole tree, so you know, I'd probably... Just use a ladder. <clears throat> snowy village print. This print shows the village near the school on a sunny, snowy day just before Christmas, created for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. H. Christmas Cracker. All the goodies from this display piece were included in the box itself. If you pull each in, the cracker will pop and reveal confetti inside. Designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Oh, Danny, did you put out a Christmas cracker design by chance on your Patreon page? I gotta go look. I haven't been on there in a minute and I need to go look because if you did, I might have to design my own Christmas crackers for next year. I don't know why I feel like you did that maybe a few years back. Anyways, I'd have to go look. I'm gonna go look. Krampus Off Potion. Keep the Krampus away this holiday, even if you have been naughty all year. Read more in the Christmas Enchanter, designed for us by Wizardry Workshop and bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Y'all, <laughs> y'all such great, I don't even know, like I haven't even made potions in forever because um, everyone that I get from the Wizardry Workshop is like gorgeous and beautiful and you know. But again, if you want me to do a potion class, if you will, um, I would love to do one for you guys. So let me know when I'm able to go live again, maybe that can be our live event. Uh, Yule ball after party flyer. The ball is over, but the party has just begun. You're invited to the after party in the Northwest Tower designed by Wizardry Workshop. Knit H&R stockings. Oh goodness, so there's a hairy one too. You'll receive one of two knit Christmas stockings. I love that. Our next quarterly box theme is the Noble House of Black. Oh, that's going to be such a good box. I cannot wait for that one. That one's going to be exciting. This has got to be my favorite quarterly box so far. It has to be. Tell me what your favorites were in the comments down below. If you have not yet, please hit like and subscribe. And if we get up to 50 sub like subscribers total, um, cause I know I'm just a little baby channel and I do this for fun. But for those of you who like to watch or who happen to see this, um, please hit subscribe and it'll help me get to be able to go live. And then maybe we can do a potions class. Um, in fact, if, if we do that, I will do a live potions class with you guys. So there you go. We hit 50 subscribers. I only need like nine more. So it's, it's not that, that big of a stretch. Um, tell me what your favorites were in the comments down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!